It has been a month since Typhoon Odette ravaged through regions in the Visayas and Mindanao. Let's get some updates from Jenny Dongon, who joins us live from Cebu City. Jenny, how is the recovery of Cebu going? Sean, a month has passed since Typhoon Odette wreaked havoc here in Cebu, but the extensive damage is still evident. Some residents of Lapu-Lapu City spent hours lining up in front of the school not to get vaccinated but to claim the 5,000 peso cash assistance from the local and national government. Most of them lost their homes and belongings after the onslaught of Typhoon Odette. Physical distancing was a challenge as residents fell in line to get their cash aid. <laughs> Maria is among those hoping to get her 5,000 peso cash assistance. However, her name was not included in the list. Mia, on the other hand, had no choice but to bring her 8-month-old baby with her. Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Jonard Chan said they are trying their best to implement health protocols among residents, especially in distribution areas. Hindi natin makukontrol na pag pera na ang kailangan ng tao eh. So, hindi natin ma mapipigilan. As long as they will wear the face mask, that's the most important. So, yun ang binatingnan natin sa mga tao, sa mga tauhan natin. Na they will so far, the city has over 1,000 active cases and this may increase in the coming days. Sa evacuation natin, dikit na dikit na. Pero, thanks God na hindi tumaas. Pero, we're expecting na tataas kasi nakapasok na si Omicron. Alam natin na si Omicron, sobrang super spreader. The city government expects cases to remain elevated since many residents are still staying in evacuation center. We'll continue to encourage residents to get vaccinated. They note that 88% of COVID or the recent COVID-19 deaths here in Cebu public hospitals were unvaccinated. Sean. All right, thank you so much for that update and do stay safe down there in Cebu. Jenny Dongan of News 5 joining us live from the Queen City of the South. Thanks, Jenny.